Right, just to show our life isn't a complete dream, we got something different to fix today in. Open the back of the Astra. Oh. Washing machine! Right, so we're going to do something gone. complete. What's that? Cow gone. Cow gone. Washing machines gone. last longer with cow gone. No, just to show that me and Ian's life isn't just a dream of fixing exotic cars and pickup trucks, we're going to fix the washing machine today. Um, dodgy bearing apparently, so let's have a look, see what's going on. Right, so we got it in and it's an AG, it's not that old. Um, it should be a good make. Um, but it, when, it, when it goes on spinning, it goes... And it makes a real racket. Um, it, the bearings are gone. Um, I've looked at a video on YouTube. And um, yeah, when the drum, when the drum is, is doing that, you've got a problem. So we're going to have a look. Can you see that there? Um, I don't even know if it, it'll sort of turn. It's not that noisy, but it's, something's gone and I'm going to have to replace the seal. But let's have a look. I hate spending money on. Um, I hate throwing things away as well. I think it's just the bearing. So what, what, what's this? We're not trained washing machine repairers, are we? Oh. We're not trained in anything, actually. Alright, so we've got these screws here. What are they just normal cross head screws? Uh, they're quasi or uh, quasi. 8 mil, 7 or 8 mil. Oh, yeah, so you could put a little socket on them if you want. I'll just undo those. Real men fix washing machines. <laughs> We're going to get in trouble if we've done anything else, are we? Happy wife, happy life. Right. So, right, so we got, let's have a look, we've got a motor down the bottom here, we love, we love machines. We've got the motor, that's all wobbling about, and the, the um, now, apparently we've got to undo that, that big nut there. We've got the belt, so if you have to change your belt, that would be an easy change. That's all easy there, isn't it? Oh, we shouldn't have too hard a life though, should no, we? No, I don't think so. What size is that then? Oh, I don't know, get the socket set, he looks like about a 17 or something. Oh gosh, he, he grinds and I expect the belt is probably a bit more stressed, but you can inspect the belt. Have a look if it's got any signs of wear or whatever on it. But it all looks, all look, apparently you, you get water leaking down the back of the bearing. Right, got our flash socket set out. How for the best quality. Alright, so I reckon we might better give me a give me an extension bar and I'll jam an extension in there if it starts to spin. It could be it could be a clockwise thread. What do you reckon? Is it did that go? No. No. Probably anti-clockwise. Right, we'll wrestle with this. I think we need both my hands. Oh, that was a better jam. We, we jammed in one of these little holes here. That held it a bit more secure. Right. Well, then, but we but yeah, each. we just... A lava man. What make is your washing machine in? Okay. Don't... I barely know how to turn it on. <laughs> Shocking. Is that coming? coming. Well that bearing doesn't look like there's anything wrong with that. How's the drum attach on to the rest of that then? Does that, does that pull out then? How, how is that bolt holding? Do you reckon, will it all push out do you reckon? Because you've got a bearing now. Let me skim and go. You know you, you film there. Let me spin the drum. Obviously that goes round with the drum doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah it's, it's, you just got no leverage on there. Um, the centre bit there. But is that spinning? Yeah. yeah. Right, so we've got to work out how that drum is. That drum is completely loose, but that. Yeah. Right, that's the yeah. does. Oh, it does push out, does it? Um, right, you can just push it out. Right, let's have a look then. Maybe we've got to take the front seal off. Right, in order to get this drum out, I reckon we're going to have to take this rubber seal off. Now, apparently, some of them have got interlocking, but these AEGs have got what looks like a spring. So I'm hoping I can. Get that with these little pliers in. Oh, that ain't too bad, is it? Oh, there you go. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. There you go. Right, that's that out. And then there might be some other bits on here. Let's have a go. Yeah. 
He is grimy. Right. What is, has it got another spring on the on the top? That. It looks like something else has gone. As I look in by that seal, it looks like something else is. Because the bearing, is, there's no sign of rust there. So that bearing, I think, is all right. Let's have another look. Usually there's a, what well, you're trying to take off the top now. Yeah, because you can have isn't a look. Isn't it usually yeah. a couple of screws and you have to like slide it, isn't it? Usually dock it. Slide it or slide yeah. it. See, you have, you have done this before, eh? Yeah, they've oh. got these little docks on the front here. Oh like. yeah, that just sort of. It just hooks in yeah, there. Yeah, and there's a couple of little pins at the back there that sort of... Right, let's have a look. What we got? What we got? What's in there? Now... Because... Is this supposed to be suspended? Yeah, it's on the spring. It's on the springs? So you it's got, that you got those big springs there. And do they look alright, do they? Because this... Oh, but we know the drum's detached inside, don't we? So we, we've got this out of plastic casing. So somehow we've got to work out how to get that drum out. Okay, that's a bit of a distraction taking the top off, but here we go. We're back on the slimy seals. We've released this out, Red. We reckon we can just give this a... There is, there is this little tabby bit, isn't there? There's like a little... There's a little tab here. Do you reckon that? Do you reckon that's like a handy pull? Oh, that's that. Yeah, 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 so it's a little spring, yeah. So there we go. So there's just a bit of brute force on that inner edge. By the looks of it. Alright, so that's the, the seal, and that's the spring should be in that. That's pretty horrible, there you go. There's the spring, there's the seal. Um, right, so can we see any more? Well, we've got like this sort of, something's all broken up here. It looks like the, the uh, it's been wearing against the side of the actual drum casing has been so so bad but can you then bring the how then do you get the drum out i think that should be sat on some kind of runner or bear on the front there it looks like if you lift that uh, up is that not a track for it in there is oh, yeah, it not cause look, shaped because that's, that's bigger than that so how do you how do you separate well, it looks like there's a joint looks like they're plastic welded all the way around because of what these joins here, yeah. So there's a split there, there. the plastic welded, well, not meant to be separated again. So if your drum goes like this, am I doomed? Oh, or is there, or is there a front bit here, Ian? Is there a front bit that's this front? That's your concrete counterweight. That's count your away. concrete counterweight. But no, the lip is in behind there. Mm, mystery, right? Let's do some research. Right, so it turns out it's a total strip down. We've got to get that whole drum, this whole plastic cage out and separate it and have a look inside. So we're going to have to do a super quick strip down. So I'm going to take the take the front door off. All right, so they're little screws. If you get the little screws in, then we know what we we know which screws go back where. Right. In fact, if I put them down after I take it apart, if I put it put those with the door, I'll know where that goes. Then, will be handy. Right. That's that. Then what I've done is, um, on the top here, I've done the ones on this side to try and speed it up a little bit. These are these torques. Oh. Don't they know it's important? We're fixing the washing machine. Can't stop. Right. Okay, so let's have a look. There's four of these along this edge. So that's a short one, actually, that one. There. This one's a long one, I'm guessing. So yeah, the the front one is shorter than the back one. Look, short, long. Why don't we got that? All right. Let's have a look at these. It's only a question of time, we've got nothing to lose. It's rubbish anyway. Well, that's a long one. 
I guess this is a long one. So that also seems to be held in by the springs that hold the weight of it. Oh, is that? So we're gonna. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll work that out in a minute. Let's just... There you hook over the top. So this is the, the spring where it hooks over there. Um, yeah, but that. And then you've also got. Oh, ah, yeah. Okay, we'll have to work that out. We might maybe need to take that out. But let's get this front panel off here. It's got these little seven millimeter screws in there. And there, those little, see those ones, little pointy ended ones there. Okay, so I've got that one out. So I've done the same on the other side. So hopefully this front bit will. You've got a clip there. I've got a little clip there, have I? Spread a tray there. You reckon we need to just push that down, do you? Yeah, let's take it. We're not AEG trained, that's the trouble, Ian. Ah, hold on, what's we got at the front here? Have a look down here, Ian. We've got a screw under here, look. Oh, no, that, see, that seems to be coming off as one. Oh, uh, you've got a bolt there. Bolt there. Whoa. What do I do, my socket set? It'd be good to get that front panel separated. Tell me they've used a different size on that one. Right, they've used a different size on that. Right. You got that, and then you've got obviously all this wiring. Wiring. Which we can we can unclip these sort of clips, can't we? We can squeeze those in. And release those down. Yeah, but I don't know how much room that's gonna give you because because that's coming to there. But yeah, I think if we get that front panel unclipped and unscrewed, it'll be better. Right, I've got these two little screws out when I'm getting. I've got the first one out. They're just hidden under the tray, two of them. And they look like, look at that. Now again, they're a different shape, so they're a little stainless steel looking self tapper. So there's two of those, they're both the same, and they're hidden under the tray. Um, not sure if that allows me to get this front panel off yet. Yeah, you reckon if I push down on that? Clips definitely doing something there. What's, what's that allowing me to do in? Is that going to come yet? Oh, something. That's sort of coming now. We're on the wiring now, aren't we? Let's have a look if we can. Oh, we got a little. What's that little, what's that little panel there? That little panel. How's he clip on? Oh, he's got those little side clips. So there we go, that exposes these. So remember where they go in. Get that on the video. Green, blue, black. Yeah. All right, pull that up. They just pull up. Oh, you're on the clip there. Ah, sorry. So uh, what does that clip do then? Ah, you, have you got to get it? You got to release that clip. Ah, there you go. That's better, look. Not a UG train. Alright, pull that back. That's a better way, isn't it? Yeah. Right, is that going to let me have it? I'm nearly there. You've got a big grey, you've got some big grey wires. Some in big. Look like they're just pull grips. I can't imagine them being pull, not those others with a lock. But... need fight in those right so how far off are we oh we've got one more down there oh oh is that just rooted through there where does that go that is that's clipped in a little clip under there clip there did you see that and then it's got a little cable tie I'm gonna have to cut there that little cable tie there. I'll get a, we'll get a knife and maybe a knife. There. Right. It's careful not to cut the wires. There you go. Skill. Right. Got a bit more length now. And then where does he? He goes. Stays underneath. There's another. 
Remember those little clips that yeah. in? They're not really clips, they're just kind of Guides hooks that it, it just literally hooks into. And then, has that got a, a clip on him like the others? Yeah, there is. No, can't feel a clip. And it's got the red and the black. You see which way round they go. The, the red is in the corner. Some sort of clip on there. Right, let me see how we get this. Ah, oh, that helps. Let's give that a yank out. In fact, that, that we can put to one side then, can't we? We can leave that to one side now. And now let's have a look at getting this front off. What we got going on here? We got some screws there. What's that? Now the short. Similar to the back ones. Yeah. You know what I'm Short. Yeah. Right, what have we got? Lift. Let's yeah. have a little look. Now we are, actually, let's take that bottom panel off. Because there is a plastic panel at the bottom here. Yeah? We've got a screw in here, look. Mm -hmm. That's it, a socket on it. I'm going to tip the, tip the machine back a bit and have a look underneath this. Right, we're battling through it. So these were tricky to undo, so I've I've got the socket, a 7mm socket on these. Okay, he doesn't want to come out, he's staying in there. And then... I think this plastic panel, we got one of these like wedge plasticky tools. I don't know if we can. This side seems to unclip. Oh, there you go. All right, we've got the drain hose there. Right, now, in theory, if we take this out, we're going to get water everywhere. But if I, if I hold it up, pinch the back of it. Yeah, pinch the back. Side off and put it back in. That's it. Right, so that's got that. And then we just have a look underneath. Now oh, we've got two screws, two more bolts underneath there on the bottom corner. We get those out, we should be able to front one. be those ah oh, that's actually not a self tapper look that's a threaded bolt that one so watch that right another threaded one okay now these are on they got these I think they're just pegs I don't know if they're necessarily poppers oh, they seem to have gripped again in I think a, a good stiff pull would, would release them. Oh, Careful. Right, there's the front. Can we can just spin him around the side there. Uh, I think he should all be through. You should be able to take those two pieces. Ah, it's just that yeah, cable yeah, yeah, is just yeah. joining those two bits. Those bits. So I think that's your, I think that's your door lock. Interlock. Those cables there are your door lock. Right now, can we? So it's the hooks next, isn't it? Um, well, we got a. Uh, Waste drain one. at the bottom, oh, which oh, we need to release. We've got this, this got here, Ian, attached to the drum. We've got like a drain. Maybe you've got the feed at the top, you've got the drain at the bottom this side, you've got a dampener this side. Can we go for this one here, Ian, if we have a look at this, this hose clip at the top. Can we, can I get in there? Oh, that's a 7mm. Oh, is he smaller? I've got an 8 am I? Where's my 7? There he is. Is that spinning it? Looks like it. So we've got what we've used so far. Torx, and just a little socket set. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. I'm not doing too bad. If 
I move out there, I better get a better. That's come off there. Eh? that come off now? Yeah, that's off. That's Alright, so that's, that's released already. Okay, good. Because um, we're going to try and... Base, so basically this is, this is suspended on these things at the... Um, so that, so we should just be able to... What, what's it on at the bottom here? Have we had a look at the bottom now? You've got all your waste pipe, all your drain. We've got all the drain there. And you've got a dampener each side. Each side. And then we should be able to lift out. It's There's not too of, bad. One of these dampers each side. And one of the... A uh, spring each side at the top holding it. So what do you reckon take off first? Um, well you need to get the, get the hoses off. Let's get the hoses off, yeah. And then and then it's just the mechanical bits, isn't it? It's not looking too bad though. We're not too far. We're not too far in the mess. Right. We've drained the water into a little shallow tray. So hopefully we've got most of the water out. But I'm sure there'll be some more. Um, loosen that one there. Now I've decided to loosen that one because there's two here. One of them doesn't look like a hose clip, so I'm going to leave those on the drum and then take that out of there. Oh, I look if that wants to come out of there. Alright, so that's that bit off. Ian said there's some electrical bits around the back. Let's have a look we've got. So we're all right there. That's, that's rooted through there. So we all... What's this one here, Ian? Is that... Breather, maybe? Breather's a good shower. Not, not sure. Sure. How do we disconnect it? Done. Yeah, breather. We're happy with that. Right, so we've disconnected the breather. Good shout, Ian. Right, what else is connected? Electric. You know Electric to your motor. Electric to the motor. Right, let's get down and let's get down and dirty. Right. So um, we've got a cable tie to undo. But right, let's get these in the right order then. So, this wire here is grey, but has he got any particular wire? Because that one also is grey. I guess it's AC, it doesn't matter a lot. Um, we we'll try and get them in the same order. I guess they'll, they'll hang roughly, right? Alright, so that's the two grey ones. And then this one here, is that a little clip there? Yep, that's something, that one's come off. Uh, and then we've got an earth. Right, so that's all, all those. If I grab that, that's an internal earth, so I'm not as worried about that one. Again, careful, particularly if these are high voltage. I don't want to damage those wires with my knife. So you're gonna need a couple of cable ties to table tight all this back up again. Right, now. So it's the, the motor's coming off as well, isn't it? Yeah, right. So there seems to be another earth. Around the bottom. Yeah. It gets tight. Let me get the I'll get the needle nose pliers on it. Right, that one there. Oh, that's got a little hose clip on it. Some of them have got a little. I know what you're saying. Uh, no, it's just a, a good tight fit. Right, and then we've got, and we've it, got a big multi way and, and it sort of loops underneath there, it looks like. Okay. And then what do we reckon? That, uh, uh, how does that all come off? Or is there a screw in that? A bit? Okay, I'll have to investigate that further. Okay, that one does just pull off, it pulls straight back. And that's nearly left the whole lot disconnected, other than these. And we're at the back here, like it looks like these are just pins we push out in. So I think we could push this out while it's still on its. Um, Do on we need its... to push the bottom one out or the top one? Are we going to take the damper with it? Damp yeah, well, I asked ah, what you're saying, yeah. How do the top ones go? Are the top ones the same? Yeah, the top ones are the same, look the same. Um, so let me just have a look if they... I'll have to investigate those a bit more, they look a bit tricky. Okay, so this is the peg that holds the shock absorbers in, top and bottom. So basically it's just a sort of pin that goes in, but as it goes in there's that little plunger there. So before you knock it out you've got to sort of compress that and then drive it back. So I've done that and released this one. 
So I'll just release the other one and then, and then it's time to do the springs at the top. Right, now you could have a go at removing this heavy concrete weight ballast, which looks like you need these, but we haven't got a Torx T50 big enough. Um, so I'm going to try and, without damaging myself, have a go here. So I'm going to try and lift this spring off by lifting on the drum. Ooh, that's, that's not as easy as it looks. I might need a bit of help there. How far which, does that hook go end? under? Which end's easier to get off? That end looks like it hooks through a long way here. You wanna have a, let me just see if I can get that out. Can you stick that screwdriver in that hoop? I've, I've taken the pressure off it there. Can you then? Yeah, that, that, that's that one. Did, did something. Right. Let that down gently. Don't know what it's resting on. Hum up, we'll try the same on the other one, shall we? We're on the shock absorber at the minute. Yeah. Right. Which side are you going to come? Are you going to go out lifting it? Right. Right. Okay. You got it? I got it. Just roll it. I think you're just on those shock absorbers. You want to just have a look around the back? Have a see what's going on under there. Uh, yeah, I think you just sat on on everything. Yeah, yeah, it's all free. Right, so there. Right, let's have a look. So that's your washing machine, and that's your drum, I guess. So what have we got to do? Here? We've got to split it. Is this a splittable drum? Um, let's have a look. And it would. It looks like it's sealed, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks plastic welded. It looks already. like it's plastic welded. Oh, along this this joint, which is where you'd expect it to to, to go to clamshell and split in half. And uh, so, is it the drums are not? Do you have to buy a whole new drum if you've got one of these with the bearing? It certainly appears that way at the minute, but we'll keep having a look. Let's have a... Well, I'll have a little look in here and see what we can see. Okay, so the drum here is... We've had a look inside. Unfortunately, we can't get the light inside, but it does look like the bearings have gone. It looks like the casting that holds the drum to the bearing has corroded and cracked. And also, on these AEGs, it looks like this is all sealed. So, you can't get into it um, to get the drum out. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take the motor off and I'm gonna run a cutter saw through the plastic and just show people the inside of the washing machine because I just like seeing why things break. Right, it's a bit brutal but we've just used the angle grinder here to cut through this casing because we just want to have a look. We hate things we can't fix. Right, and there's a little bit there. So we destroy them instead? Destroy them. I should better drift that out now, shouldn't I? We reckon that was nearly going out before, Ian. Yeah? It was moving. Let me get a let me get a proper. Okay, so we've uh, let me go pulled that out, and let's have a look what's actually failed here. So you can see the the sort of there's some corrosion on this, and it looks an aluminium sort of construction there, and that whole bearing there has come off. Um, so it's not the bearing that's failed, it's, it's not the bearing, actual, it's actual that, drum. Yeah, and it looks like corrosion. Now, my wife's been complaining, there has been some sort of slime building up, but I don't know if this is a result of this or what, but that is, that's pretty pooped. So I think, new washing machine's in order. But it is interesting, if the bearings go, I mean, you know, they talk about an inner and an outer bearing, and you can see that there is an inner bearing here for the shaft, okay, with a wet, with a seal. And a, 
and an outer bearing there with a seal and you can drift they just tap out but the problem you've got is is you can't get with these can't get to them because they're sealed together, you can't get to them so I, I think you're completely and you can see that there's no way that drums going through that front face because it's, that's plastic all the way to there so AEG have kind of pooped us now um, get the model number off that one Ian because um, that is clearly unfixable and it's a bit annoying because on eBay people are selling the bearing kits for this model but clearly you'll have to buy a whole new drum which is probably loads of money just out of interest there's the heating element if you needed to replace the heating element that would be a relatively easy job of undoing that bolt there um, so that's an interesting one but there we go that's the inside of an AEG washing machine. I'm disappointed.